greetings from Layton, Utah. Today is Thursday, May 4th. May the 4th be with you, right? <laughs> 2023. It is about 9.53 a.m. Mountain Time. What we're going to be trying to do is we're going to be trying to ride our bike to that mountain area that you're seeing over there. So not down here. We have done walking videos down in this area before. But we're going to try to take some city streets to basically go over behind where those houses are and eventually end up all the way to where the mountains are. So let me get my camera gear set up and then we'll try to get going here. So I always want to make sure I'm in tilt locked mode for my bike rides, which we're in. Temperature today is, or well, temperature right now is about 62 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's one of those times where you have to try to judge what type of clothing you want to wear. To not be too hot, but also not be chilly. So I went with shorts, primarily because they hold my phone well. And then I put a t-shirt and a very light uh, like mesh long sleeve jacket on over it because that'll that's very lightweight and if I need to I can take it off we're gonna make a left turn here this is gonna take us downhill eventually kind of have to go uphill and I'm, I'm not racing downhill I'm actually applying the brakes we're on 1450 East You can see there's actually a sign there limiting bicycles too to 20 miles per hour. At least that's what I think the sign is saying. So if you've watched my videos before where I did a walk with Coco the dog at Kays Creek Parkway. That would be just on the left here. That's where like, I would start walking. That's why it says trail crossing. So the first portion of this video is hopefully going to show a little bit of the neighborhood and how to get to one of the many trails in Utah, but specifically in Layton. Alright, so this is Antelope Drive, so what I'm going to do is make a left turn. And let's see here, I'm just pausing to stop and check Google Maps. Alright, yep, we look good. So this is going to be going uphill for a little bit. 
It gets even steeper near a, I think it's a small bridge up ahead. That portion I will probably be walking over. So we actually started the video in the background over there, up that hill. So this part is just going to be me walking uphill, so I'll pause the video. All right, we made it to the top of the hill. You know, it's a short distance, but you can see how this street has like a big, well, I, I came, I was like starting in the middle, so I had to come uphill, but it's like an even bigger hill going the opposite direction toward the main city of Layton, away from the mountains. That was Sunset Drive that we're at right now. I thought I would last a little bit longer with this long sleeve. But I'm already getting pretty close to taking it off. I was trying to look when the last time I went to a portion of this trail was. It looked like through my photos that it was back in May of 2019. Got a little bump here on the sidewalk. passing by 1975 East. Along Antelope Drive. When I've done some of my videos in this area in the past, I'm often walking away from the mountains, 
so I'm hoping that this angle will also present a bit of a unique view in that regard that we're going toward the mountains forgive me I'm still <laughs> still trying to catch my breath a little bit This is another one of those streets, Antelope Drive. You can see like there are bike lanes carved, not carved, but bike lanes painted onto the street. But if I know the sidewalks aren't too bumpy, I'll just stick with the sidewalk and that way if I need to pull over, check directions or get a quick drink of water, I'm not worried about cars hitting me from behind. Or you could even just be riding and cars could still clip you or something. Alright, up here I think we're going to get a, a little bit of a downward slope. I definitely know we're gonna have one more extended uphill section, but that's gonna be once we get over to the mountains and are getting up to like where the parking lot would be. You gotta kind of weave in and out. Here's the Thing I was referencing as a bridge earlier, it's more so just uh, going over a creek, I think. I walked this, if anyone watched my wintertime video where I walked down in Kay's Creek and then eventually came back up, I just walked on this path. Oh, we got several dog walkers here, so let me get off and walk my bike. Oh, we got more dogs here. Okay, let's get back on and ride a little bit. Unfortunately, I see, uh, I was mistaken, there is one more little uphill part up here. Oh, this dog's not on a leash, so I don't want to disturb, alarm it. <laughs> oh, you're fine. Yeah, I wasn't concerned about the dog. For me, I was concerned about like the dog running after me and then spilling into traffic. So this is Oak Forest Drive that we're approaching now. You can see how, how many types of hills there are in this area.
passing 2550 East. Those street names may seem pretty unfamiliar if you're not from Utah. But they have a lot of numerical and directional street names. Now we're approaching Hobbs Creek Drive. To our left would be a bus station. A more like a park and ride. You can park your vehicle and then ride it. I have to look up what specific bus goes there.
I'm going to pause for a second and change my shirt because now it's too hot. Well, in that short time that I was changing, I saw two buses, a 455 and I think this one, oh, that's also a 455. They must be going opposite directions or something though, but they came there. So again, that's the name of the bus number or it's the bus route number. I don't know where it goes still. One went toward Ogden down the highway. The other one maybe is gonna take the highway back the other way if I had to guess, probably towards Salt Lake. So one thing to note about this bridge here, this is brand new where it says Antelope Drive. Well, that bus over there is actually going to where I'm going. So that could have saved me some legwork if I had taken it. Yeah, but this bridge here is pretty brand new. They've been doing a lot of construction on this highway. And one of those, one component of that construction has been installing more of these bridges that connects Layton over to this side of the town because otherwise you'd have to travel further on down in the past and then kind of backtrack and that's also one of the reasons I didn't previously do a video going this direction because if I was taking a bike I would have had to ride my bike like several miles east or west just to get a bridge to get over to this point so once they finished this I was like all right that's much better that I can just ride it straight away Let's see two bicyclists here It may not look like it, but this is still uphill that I've been going. Not too bad right now though, so I'll try to ride again. So we're gonna make a right turn on Valley View Drive. And then we're looking for Fernwood that we're gonna make a left turn on. These roads over here, I mean, you're gonna see like I mean, I'm not going to call these places mansions, but it's more exclusive. Once you get further up the hill, you see more of the bigger houses. Yeah, but there are no, from what I'm recalling, there's no sidewalks in this area. But one good thing is there's very little traffic, so you don't have to be worrying about vehicles coming behind you very often. You still have to be aware of it. You can see these numerous bike riders going down, coming from Fernwood. So this is where we're going to start going uphill again, and I'm probably going to end up walking a decent portion of it. That's all right that we're walking it because part of this video, I wanted it to be like taking the time as if I was walking and enjoying the scenery.
You can also see the creek passing through. So it's going underneath the road and it's coming from over there. Now the good thing about this is when I'm all finished exploring, most of what I've done uphill walking on the way here, I'll be able to relax and ride downhill. I actually do have a brief stretch of a sidewalk on the left, but then it ends. So it, it almost looks like two creeks are like on opposite sides, like one that we saw earlier than this one here, maybe they converge. I know on the map, I could see diagrams of two creeks, but they were like farther apart once you get toward the mountains. Maybe this is where they converge a little. Obviously, if you have a vehicle, it's better to drive up here. But on the same note, I also could use the exercise, improve my conditioning a little bit. Try to turn my camera to the left a little bit. You can see how we're high above, getting high above the city. If my memory's right, we're going to turn like to the right going uphill. And I think at the end of that hill is like the parking lot area. This is what I was referring to as far as the exclusive 
properties go. Hopefully I'm going the right direction. <laughs> and that the uh, trail wasn't actually somewhere else. Let's see what Google Maps says, because I haven't looked at it in a while. Okay, yeah. Once we get up here to the right, we're gonna, or once we get up here, we're gonna make a right turn. Very, very steep. <laughs> See, there's even spaces up here where you can buy the land and try to build a house. I'm sure that can be challenging to build it on the hill. We're almost there. Ten PM to seven AM this gate is closed, so sorry, ten PM to seven AM, is that what he said? I can see it, it's so close. <laughs> it's 
see there's a bathroom down there. But there should be another one over here. Got like little picnic tables on the right. Take a guess what my pulse rate is right now. All right, it's 151. And here we are. All right, I'm going to go ahead and try to lock the bike up.